Hi folks, so today it's all about beef offal. So we're here in our own butchery on our own farm with one of our own animals offal. So this came from a Hereford Cross heifer, um, live weight of 560 kilos, and we've got about 13 kilos of offal uh, from her, which is a fantastic food. So this is 100% grass fed, pasture for life accredited, which means that you can believe and you're sure it's grass fed. And I think that's really important for offal because these are organs, there's a lot of chemistry going on and you want the best fed, most looked after animal you can get. So if we go around the body, start with the tongue. Um, offal is all about texture as well as flavour and this tongue is uh, quite an amazing thing. It's done a huge amount of work but it's got a very unusual texture and some people are really keen. People like it pressed traditionally, that's what most of my customers do. And then comes the cheeks. So the cheeks have done a huge amount of work, um, but that means flavour. It's done work, it's got flavour. And so slow cooked, they're, uh, I'd say, a perfect portion each if you're hungry, but perhaps one between two. And they are, they are really great, quite trendy, bit of a waiting list for those. We then come to the hanger steak. Now, a bit difficult to see, but this has got uh, two muscles. It's a muscle, it operates the diaphragm. It's done quite a lot of work, but you can actually get away with slicing it, cooking it quite quickly, putting it on the barbecue. Because it's next to the kidneys, it has got just a different taste. So it's really interesting one. Um, we then come to the kidneys. The best thing for these is steak and kidney pudding. Um, not much else to say. We then come to the, we go to the heart next. Now this is two kilos, this is a big item. It's really quite lean and um, it is great. What I really like to do with them is slice it thinly, marinate it overnight in the fridge with red wine vinegar, cider vinegar, paprika, and put it on little sticks and put it on the barbecue. It's like street food. It's uh, thoroughly underrated. We then come to the oxtail. Now, I normally uh, cut this up into nice little portions. Lots of cartilage in here, which means you'll get all these really interesting essential fats and things uh, rendering out of that collagen. So for your stews and your soups, if you want flavour, but you also want all those essential things for your body, oxtail is the way to go. And then, in my mind, the most important, most interesting bit of the lot is the liver. So this weighs around six kilos. As you can see, it's a lovely, shiny black colour. Um, and this, again, it's done quite a lot of work. So it's, it's kind of a chemistry plant for your body. But it is, the flavour is amazing. People say mature cattle liver, it's going to be strong. It's not, it's just beautiful. The key thing is to cook it correctly. So just dust it a tiny bit of flour, cut it to lovely little strips. And we're only talking a minute or two each side. It is, it's a fast food. And it has got more minerals, um, trace elements, and things that are good for you than anything else. It is a true superfood. So if you're interested in any of this, get in contact. Um, we have an email list called the Tongue to Tail Club where we send out an email uh, basically on the day the animal is slaughtered and people can pick up the offal the next day. And so people can have it really fresh or it all freezes pretty well as well. So um, get in contact, uh, click on the link and um, enjoy.